believe in it because um, they are very backward. For you? Why, why is that? Uh-uh, motherland. Uh, I grew up here. Yeah. <laughs> there goes a popular saying that worry not the carry last. But how true is that statement? Well, right now we are live in Wari, Delta State, Nigeria, and that brings me to the question that I'm going to be asking some Wafarians on the streets. So now, between Wari and the city of Port Harcourt, for instance, which is better in terms of infrastructure development, fashion style, youth empowerment, and all of that? Which one do pass? Let's find out. Okay, right now we are in Wari, and there is a popular saying that Wari not the carry last. How true is that statement? No, Wari the carry last now. As a guy man in Wari, I. There's always a thing my friends we do use. We say worry not the carry last because they know actually they the race. You understand? Those people that say that worry does not carry last, they have not left the worry. So they think this is just not the only thing. But when you go out, you know that worry is not even in the competition. It's very true because worry has a whole, I believe, um, in terms of the culture, the fashion, and every other thing around them, despite the economic like condition of the country as of now. I think they should, they should try as much as possible to like um, be on top of their game in every aspect. Sometimes we say we're in the kind last. I saw this. We say we can't do because we're in the kind. But as time goes on, we can't do it. So at the end, you see we're in the kind last. I don't believe in it because um, they are very backward. The truth is that um, in different aspects. Let me say, for example, in entertainment, we the carry last. Really? Yeah. Why well, we don't have enough media right here in Worry that promotes music, that promotes. Um, Anything talent-wise, you understand? So for, in that aspect, with the carillas, trust me. Before now, where it used to be a place to be, but just now, as I speak, maybe you want to quiz others. Now, which means, if you're given a platform to choose between Worry and Port Harcourt, which would you prefer to stay? I prefer to stay in Port Harcourt. Why? Uh, because of it's a, it's a industrial, uh, it's a commercial city. Uh, right? The city is an industrial uh, city. I don't go to Port Harcourt much, but uh, the last time I went there, it was really nice. I went to, they took me around to the GROA, went to some plaza, some shopping malls, and it was really okay, it was really nice. I would not want to choose Port Harcourt because I don't want to go with the glory of the name. I want to go with uh, how conducive the place is for me to achieve my dream. So far, so good. I know there, there, there has been difficulties, but um, at the end of the day, people are worried they still have a way to get up despite whatever circumstances they're going through. So I believe that I worry. Um, I, I'll choose worry over Patakot. I prefer to stay in worry. I believe in this, my worry. I believe I can't stay in Patakot. Yes. Worry works at the end of the day. Okay, now, what do you think can be done to better the standard of living here in worry? Okay, what I think can be done is just that we should change our orientation. Yes. We believe on one thing that worry no the carry last, and that thing has been affecting us in one way or the other. So we should change our orientation and say, worry don't carry last. When you change your orientation, it will be better work. We have to start with the aspect of brotherly love. There is no brotherly love in worry because when, like the, the, the uh, let me use the cost of goods. When somebody goes as far as uh, to other states to get something for like 500 naira, comes back to worry, and because he thinks worry is the oil city, he sells back to his own brother. Like you call to we have to exploit everyone. So I, I believe it's not from the government; it's from the individual. Yeah. So we have to start that that change within ourselves. Youth empowerment. They have to change their orientation because they they they, they, they want to get they, they have this. Um, get rich mentality. yes they want to to live a luxurious life without even working taking their time to make plans so that maybe in years to come they would meet up to standard I think the best thing to do is that we should pray to God Almighty to give the leaders at least the wisdom to to do things that are good we need the youth to enlighten the group or a teacher program to enlighten them more because their education value is not that much again our education standard is doing with that out of 100 percent we worry you now now about 45 45 percent everybody want to hammer we want to hammer i want to hammer why you want to hammer with you some over there is not good develop it's just security security is everything really just security so the government should improve on the security yeah. if if the place could be safe Everybody will love living in worry. Worry is nice, it's just security. Guys. This is a new age and trust me in that living in that aspect we are carrying last and it's one of my pains. I'm, I'm telling you the gospel truth. Alright, thank you so much. Well said. Thank you. Personally I feel it has to do with your personal orientation and what you can do to better your standard of living in your environment. For more information, all you have to do is to follow us on all our social media platforms, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Chikobi Isaac Sane. Bye for now.